Welcome to Yoga with Shell. In this vinyasa class today, we'll be trying on a vulture pose as well as some lotus leg variations. There will be a lot of options for binds, so a strap and a yoga block could be very helpful. Thank you for watching. Thank you for finding creativity in your own flow. And know what I say is optional. Um, it's just let it be a guide to your personal practice. Uh, if you fall, stand back up. We are strong and we just need to focus on empowering ourselves, inspiring ourselves, motivating, and remembering to breathe. Namaste. Have a block and a strap handy, and slowly roll down to your back. You can have a loop for that strap, or you can place that strap around your foot, but for now, just start in a comfortable position on your back with your knees knocked together, if that's okay. You can decide totally Shavasana shape, palms shining up, knees together or separated. Find your breath, breathe in. Open mouth, exhale. This week I'm focusing on the sacral chakra. Chakras are energy cycles in your body. Starting from the ground up, starting with the root chakra. I am grounded. Exhale. The next, chakra, the next chakra is the sacral chakra. It's the source of creativity. Good, so breathe in. Open mouth, exhale, I am creative. This is a trust of the body through the self to the self. Option to send your hands over your heart, left and then right. Breathe in, trusting your creative mind. Open mouth, exhale. Good, two more breaths right here. Ground your energy with ujjayi, inhale through your nose. Ujjayi, exhale. Feel the belly rise. Feel the belly fall. Slowly hug your knees to your chest. You can blink your eyes open if they were closed. Give yourself a gentle hug and rock side to side. Good, then find a little rotation like figure eight with your knees. And then another way, just rotate. It's okay if there's not a big amount of movement. Plant your left foot down. Take that strap either with a loop or just wrap it around your foot. And try to straighten your leg straight out to the sky. Of course, it's okay if your knee is bent. Flex your toes towards your nose. And then point your toes just to wake up the top of your foot. Flex your toes. Keep relaxing your shoulders. Exhale, point your toes. Good option to slide your left foot long. And maybe you inch your knee a little closer towards your nose. Breathe into the sensation of your leg. Open mouth, exhale. We'll play with a big toe hold today. You can always use a strap. Or keep a bent knee if you want to capture your toes. Slowly send your heel to the right for big toe A. Palm can be by your side or on your left hip to ground you. Good thumb may be framing your belly button so you can channel that grounding and that creativity. So the second chakra, it's around your belly button just underneath. It also has to do with your sexuality, with just being in tune with your body. And that's important to breathe in, breathe out. Using the breath to find awareness in the body of how we feel. Gently send your heel just over your left hip. You can bend your knee as much as you need and it doesn't have to go far, just an inch or two. Right hand can drop by your side. Bend your knee if you need, no big deal. Breathe in. Breathe out. 
Listen, you can hold the strap. Try to find hot style tree on your mat. So send your heel to your thigh and try to rock your right knee down. Yeah, of course, hold that strap or your foot. It's okay if it looks more like a figure four. Option to bend your knee for more support. This is a start of a locust shape. Holding your heel there. Breathe through it. Breathe in. Breathe out. Gently hug your knee to your chest. Give it a squeeze. And then swap out your legs with that strap. Right foot plants. Left leg high to the sky. Start with the flex of the toes and the point of the toes a few times just to warm up the back of your leg. So good. You can take your leg a little closer to your nose if that feels okay. Breathe into the sensations. Breathe in. Breathe out. Option for that recline big toe A. Slide your right toe forward if you like. Left foot to the left. Option to take your hand to your right hip. Maybe framing the, be the belly button. Breathe in. I am creative. Breathe out. Slowly cross your strap into the other hand and notice how you feel. Gently release the strap, send your heel towards your hip. So again, you may need to bend your right knee, try to find that hot style tree pose, heel to your thigh, toes face the right shoulder. And you can hold your foot, you can rest your left hand on your thigh. Breathe in, breathe out. Slowly hug your left knee to your chest. Find a little squeeze. Good, then grab beneath your knees and rock forward to a butterfly pose, a tall seat. Good, so knees are wide. And it's early, so it don't, you don't have to force the heels to the body, but you can. Just wiggle those legs. This helps open the hip flexors. And you can slide your heels farther in front of you. Breathe in, breathe out. You can stay here in this shape or find a crisscross applesauce. For this next one, just finding a mudra, that's something with your hands, okay? Coming a little closer so you can see. You want an okay sign with your fingertip and your thumb. The third finger comes in, so it's a double okay sign, <laughs> yeah. And then you draw your uh, other two fingers to touch. So you find your fourth and fifth finger together. And this is a mudra for the sacral chakra. And then sitting in a comfortable seat, can you flip that just around your belly button, just under, and focus your energy, closing your eyes, finding gratitude for your body this morning for your creative cycle. Breathe in, breathe out. And these mudras, they just help us connect, connect to thought pattern, energy, the tuning in. One more breath in, one more breath out. Slowly release that, put your palms behind you and sway your legs side to side. Just open up. Good, coming into a child's pose. Knees are wide, arms are long. Send the strap to the top of your mat, please. Breathe in, breathe out. Come back to your breath, ujjayi inhale. Ujjayi exhale. Good, now slither forward to cow cat. Tabletop pose, palms underneath the shoulders. Inhale to cow. 
Then exhale the cat. Two more rounds. I want to introduce us to something, a new challenge I found. It's super challenging for me too. So I'll show you the way that I'm practicing this. And we'll just take it with a grain of salt. After your third cow cat, find your modified plank. Shift forward so your shoulders are stacked. Shoulders are stacked, slowly walk one forearm down and then the other forearm down. So right underneath your shoulders. Now from this modified forearm plank, I want you to try to press through your palms and find that modified plank. Can you press into your palms and straighten the arms? It's really tricky, so try it from your plank that helps with the shifting forward aspect. You can keep your knees down. We'll try it two more times. Drop one elbow at a time if you need. It's building strength to do it in one motion. Gaze between your hands, press into your palms, and try to find your high plank. That's really tough, right? Try it one more time. Elbows down, pressing the palms wide, gazing forward, and try to find your plank. <laughs> Good, then back down to your knees. Inhale the cow, let it go. Exhale, the cat pose. Inhale, the cow pose. Good job, you guys. Exhale, downward facing dog, tailbone high. Puddle out your dog, let that go. It's a unique sensation and strength. Good, to rise up. And it's okay if it was hard for you, it was hard for me too, let it go. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step to the top of your mat as many steps as you need. Hang heavy, ragdoll pose. Nod your head, no. Nod your head, yes. Tell who your feet to touch. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Inhale, arms lift all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart, pause. Find an intention for your practice. Samas ti, ti hi. A dedication. Good creative energy. Breathe it in. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, shoulder tap, left elbow taps, right hand captures the left elbow. Breathe and lengthen, bend to the right. Lift your gaze, chin is slightly up. Breathe for three, mountain in two. Rise up, mountain pose, arms lift, chin up. Breathe in, exhale, shoulder tap, right palm taps. Reach up and over, breathe for three. Breathe for two, mountain in one, rise up, lengthen through the spine, breathe in. Listen, double tap the shoulders, elbows bend, you can capture your head, lift your gaze, lean back for three. For two, you can keep the hands this way on the fold or fold any which way you want, bow all the way down. Halfway lift. Exhale, high plank pose. You can take any variation. Shifting forward, hold plank, or take that cobra or chaturanga. Downward facing dog, look forward. Exhale, bend your knees, travel to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, forward fold. Mountain pose. Arms up, shoulder tap, left palm taps. Reach up and over. Inhale up. Exhale, tap the shoulders. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, double tap. Option to capture the head, lean back. Inhale. Exhale, fold all the way down. Listen, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge, left foot steps back. Drop your back knee. Lift your arms high to the sky. Palms shine towards one another. Drive your hips forward. Breathe in. Listen. Exhale. Airplane arms straighten your right leg without the help of your arms if you can. 
Flex your toes towards your nose. Good, send energy forward, 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 and find your standing splits, palms down, left toes high to the sky, gaze to your knee, breathe in, exhale, step your left toes behind the right, find a hamstring stretch, nose towards the knee, breathe in, breathe out, left toes high, forward fold. Halfway lift, forward fold, mountain pose, lift and lengthen, exhale, left hand taps, reach to the right, reach to the right, we're here for three, for two, listen, fold all the way to the right in one, fold all the way down, reach for opposite elbows, hanging heavy, good. Then find the shoulder tap, right hand to your back. Hold the left elbow and rise all the way up on the left side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, double tap, back bend. Arms lift. Forward fold, any which way. Halfway lift. Low lunge, right foot steps back. Drop your back knee and adjust your body. Arms lift, proud chest. Drive those hips forward, breathe in. Exhale, half split, sweep the arms down and back. <sighs> Gazing forward, reaching those arms forward. Standing splits, right toes high to the sky. Nose towards knee, breathe in. Exhale, tap behind the left foot and fold. Find support as much as you need. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, right toes high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose all the way up. Good, exhale, left palm taps, right elbow grasps, reach up and over. One more time, rounding through the spine, opposite rather. Left hand grabs the right elbow, starting with the left this time. Reach up and over, up and over, and then slowly sunflower your way down, like a fallen sunflower, all the way down. And then lift back up, grow strong on the right side. Lift your arms, double tap, arms up, forward fold, halfway lift. Your vinyasa flow, high to low, you have options. Yes, beautiful. Downward facing dog, breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Halfway lift. Your vinyasa, high to low. Feel that awareness, right toes high. Good, knee to nose. Shifting forward, right toes high. Exhale. High plank with one leg lifted. You can drop your left knee. Left forearm down, right forearm down. Try to keep your leg lifted. Three-legged dog. Press into your palms. Down dog kick. Knee to nose, low lunge, let it go. Spin the knife edge of your left foot down, warrior one. Lift your arms, rise up. Adjust your feet so this posture may be different than everybody, for sure it is. You want your hips forward. The knife of your back foot is down. Arms lift to the sky. Breathe in, strong warriors. Exhale, airplane-ish arms. I want you to send your palms farther out and back so that you can engage your biceps. Not so much sweeping back, but out. Press your palms back, 
feel your arms engaged. You're reaching so far back. Start to hinge your weight forward on your tippy left toes. Arms stay back. Bend your knees so your chin is hovering over your right knee. Stay with your arms here. Then listen, split the top of your left toes down. Can you sort of lift just an inch to your left toes? Amazing, this is our vulture, just a little hover. We're here for three. He helps save the princess. <laughs> and two. Last one, slowly rise, one-legged mountain. Left knee lifts, arms go high to the sky. Lean back with your chest, breathe in. Exhale, figure four, hands to heart. Listen, slowly bow your chest down. No big expectation here. You can find support. Opening the hip. Bend your right knee as much as you need. We're here for three. One-legged mountain in two. And one, one-legged mountain. Left knee lifts, arms reach up. Exhale, warrior two, open up. Step it back. Slide your feet apart from each other. Breathe in, side angle pose. Right arm down, left arm high, open up that hip. So strong, you can do it. Reach your right arm forward, believe in yourself. Breathe for three, sweep to Skandasana in two. Skandasana, you can start high or sink it low to the back of your mat. Find support. Knee is forward, so are the toes. Maybe one hand to heart, maybe both. Gaze forward, looking forward. Exhale to low lunge. Listen, inhale, open arm twist, right arm high. Exhale, chaturanga, your vinyasa. High to low. Breathe it in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, left toes high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, one-legged plank. Try it out, drop to your forearms. And press it back <laughs> to down dog kick. Breathe in. Knee to nose, a little lunge. Right foot down, warrior one. Lift your arms, square your hips. Drive your left heel back. Breathe in. Exhale, wider, plain arms. Sweep your arms back so far, so out that your biceps and great engage. Your arms may start to shake. So good. Now lean more weight forward. Chin towards your knee. Beautiful, yes. Rest your tippy toes. Good, now this is super challenging. Flip the tops of your toes down. And try to hover, try to hover. Hunching forward, vulture. You're here for three. Good, last two. One-legged mountain, lift your right knee. It's okay to back your toes. Breathe in. Exhale, figure four, hands to heart. Mount more weight down. If it feels okay, you can find support in figure four. Hands to a block over the earth. Bend your left knee a little bit more. We're here for three. One-legged mountain in two. One-legged mountain, lift up. Exhale, warrior two. Land light, arms are long, strong, engaged. Breathe in. Side angle pose. Send your palms in one line, but keep lifting through your chest. Now send your left arm forward, hold that creative light. Envision the color orange. Breathe in. Exhale, skandasana, straighten the left leg, hands to the back. Right knee is forward with your right toes. Good, breathe in, hands to heart if you'd like. Open arm twist, crawl your hands forward, lift your left arm. Gaze follows. 
Nice work. Breathe in. Chaturanga, high to low. You can always drop your knees. Down dog, breathe in. Breathe out. Listen, right toes high. Knee to nose. Right toes high. Knee to nose, low lunge. Warrior one, rise. Airplane arms, biceps are on. Shift weight forward, tippy toes. Exhale, flip the toes, and maybe you hover those toes. One-legged mountain, slowly rise. Figure four. Breathe in. Breathe out. One-legged mountain, rise. Exhale, warrior two. Breathe in. Side angle pose, nice work. Inhale, reach your right arm forward. Exhale, low skin dasana to the back or high. Nice, breathe in. Exhale, low lunge to the front, open twist. Breathe in, exhale, chaturanga, high to low. Up dog, nice brook. Downward facing dog. Inhale, left toes high. Exhale, knee to nose. Left toes high. Exhale, knee to nose, low lunge. Warrior one. Are you glad I didn't have to do that forearm thing? <laughs> Lift up. Airplane arms, biceps are wide, arms are on, like I want to give you a big hug. <laughs> Turn the toes. Ready, flip the toes. Oh, hover the toes. One-legged mountain, let it go. Exhale, figure four. Stay for a breath in. Stay for a breath out. One-legged mountain. Open up, warrior two. Breathe in. Side angle pose. Reach your left arm forward. Breathe in. Skandasana to the back. Breathe in. Exhale, crawl to the front. Left arm high. Are you breathing? Breathe in. Exhale, chaturanga, high to low. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Look forward, gaze forward. Bend your knees, travel to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Look, I'll face you so you can see me. Inhale, chair pose. Bend your knees, arms up. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, one-legged mountain, left knee lifts. One-legged mountain. Exhale, figure four. Is your strap handy? If not, grab it. <laughs> Mine wasn't. Figure four. When you're ready, you can have it close by. I want you to fold forward. And listen, the same direction that your foot is, your right arm lifts. So left arm is crossed, left hand is down, right arm is up. You're twisting to the right. Now take that strap in your top hand, fling it around your back so you can help bind your left foot. Let's try it out. Try to reach your right hand behind your back, your left hand underneath your left knee. Squeeze your leg and try to stand. Try to lift that knee. So your right hand is behind your back, your left hand arm is in front of your leg. Just see if you can lift. You're doing great. This is beautiful. <laughs> Think of opposite hand, but that's totally cool. It takes a balance of listening. Just try it one more time. So hold that strap in your right hand. Your left foot is crossed over your right. Right hand lifts. And then drop the right hand behind your back. Keep your left palm down. And then try to wrap it around your left knee. So left 
palm is in front of your left knee, like you're sweeping it straight back. Then grab your strap. <laughs> it's so challenging. And then maybe stand. <laughs> Ooh, it's really, really hard to stay on one foot for that long. Yeah, that's it, that's it. You have the shape. And let it go when you're ready. <laughs> yes, that's it. Let it go, you're doing so good. Fold forward, release that strap. So good, halfway lift. Bend your knees, crow pose, plant your palms. Maybe you stack your knees, looking forward, gazing forward. Good, create that shelf with your elbows. We're here for three, maybe you lift one set of toes, maybe both. Chaturanga in two. Let it go. Chaturanga, or up, or um, the bow cobra. Down dog. Just one more side of that attempt and then we'll have a break. Tailbone high, breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend your knees, travel to the top of your mat. Good, strap is nearby. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold, fold. Take as much time as you need. I know it's very challenging. You want that strap candy on your left side. Inhale, chair pose. Bend your knees. Exhale, airplane arms like swoosh. It's our power source. Swoosh. Right toes lift. One-legged mountain. Figure four. And you know, every side is different. Cross your ankles, slowly lower down. Listen. Right angle is crossed, right hand goes down, left arm lifts, find your open twist. Try to stack your shoulders. Good, now keep your right hand down or find your strap. Send that strap behind your back. So find a half bind, left hand behind your right hip. Good, and you wanna keep that strap behind your leg, your right leg. Right hand reaches around that right leg. Use your strap or maybe you bind your palms one day. And start to lift like a bound um, birds of paradise. Wherever you're at is perfect. Take your time. It's a super challenging posture. Yes, you are slaying this posture right now. Breathe in, let it go. Slowly lower all the way down. Good. Listen, this time, halfway lift, forward fold. Chair pose and slowly sink your tailbone all the way down, all the way down, sink, 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 lower the tailbone. Give your knees a hug, you did great. <laughs> And find a moment of self-care. Aquanasana. How you doing? Good. <laughs> See where we're at on our music. Oh, this is happy song. Walking on my sunny days with my brookie. How do you like the banana split crunch? The best thing ever. <laughs> Let's try it together. Lower, start with the boat pose. Good, and remember starfish pose. So breathe in. Exhale, lower your chest, hover your feet and arms. Then rise to boat. Inhale. Exhale, lower. Palms come together. Roll to your left hip. Banana split. Lift up, boat pose. Lower down to the right side. Lift your arms. Exhale, start. 
starfish pose. Three more times. Okay, lift up to the left and back to center. To the right, roll your right hip. Find your breath, lift up. Two more times, lower. Starfish pose, lift. And then lower, banana split. Lift your heart, lower to the right side. Lift your chest, bow pose. Last one, starfish pose. Lift, roll to the left. Lift, roll to the right. Lift, starfish to a splat. <laughs> Lower all the way down. Good, hug your knees to your chest. Send your legs up the wall, point your toes. Hands behind your head, let's twist right and left. Twist right, center, left. Shoulder to thigh, shoulder to thigh. Letting go of the challenges we just faced. Moving forward. Here's eight, seven, six, and five, so good, just four, three, two, hold to the right, and pulse just eight times, you can do it, eight, seven, six, eight to the left, and four, three, two, one to the left, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hug your knees to your chest, oh man, oh man, grab beneath your knees, Rock and roll forward. Good, stretch our bellies. Find your knees down. Option to place a block between your knees. Rise to your knees. Hands to your back. Find a camel variation, just lifting through your chest. Lift slowly, lifting up. Stretch your belly. Option to play with the right hand to left, right heel, maybe left hand, maybe you just do one arm at a time, but keep your hands to your back. And then let that go. Take a moment to rest. It's going to be a child's pose or puppy dog pose. Slowly rise to your palms, adding on to our flow. If you like help with balance, the block to the top of your mat is a great source. When you're ready, downward facing dog. Plant your palms, hoist your hips. Bend one knee, then the next. Breathe in. Shake your head no. Nod your head. Oh, yeah. Pause in stillness, down dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, right toes high. Exhale, knee to nose just once. Inhale, right toes high. Exhale, lower your forearms with your tailbone high. Good, this is a one-legged dolphin. Flex your toes and gaze between your thumbs. We're here for three. Down dog kick in two. Down dog kick, try to press to your palms, kick it back, breathe in. Knee to nose, low lunge. Spin the knife edge of your back foot. Inhale, warrior one. Take your time. Exhale, arms sweep back. Biceps are on. Looking forward, bowing forward. Shift your weight so you're on your tippy left toes. Keep bending through the right knee. Flip the top toes and maybe hover your chin over your knee. Hover the toes. 
We're here for three. Last two. One-legged mountain. Good. This time, capture your big toes. You can take your peace fingers to your left toes or grab that strap. Hand to your hip. Maybe extend your leg forward or arm out to the side. Maybe you find big toe pose. Extend to the left. Tall chest. One day, straightish legs. Yes, looking so good. We're here for three. Dancers pose in two. One-legged mountain, dance it out. Send your left foot behind you, capture your left foot with your left hand. Then lift your heart and kick and reach. Kick and reach, kick and reach. Listen, airplane pose in three, in two. Extend your left heel, sweep your arms down in one. Gazing down. Looking down, arms lift, floating through space. Good, then send your arms forward, warrior three. Good, now slowly send your right palm down. You can touch your block. And lift your left arm up, open up. Half moon. You can stay here or sugar cane. Bend your left foot and capture your foot. Keep it lifted. You are strong. You can do it. Breathe for three. Bend right knee in two. Bend right knee. Rise. Reverse your warrior. Reverse. Ooh, right leg is on. Nice half bind. Breathe in. Exhale, side angle pose. Good. Option to half bind. Option to maybe grab your strap and help you find your bind here. Now you can stay in the bind. Or you can take the bird. I'm going to stay in the bind. Left elbow is um, able to move. Then slide your palms a little bit closer to your tush. Can you straighten your front leg a little bit in the spine? Now lift your gaze for a deeper stretch. Breathe for three. Last two. Reverse triangle, straighten your front legs, lean back. Right arm leans back. Breathe in. Exhale, triangle pose, trikonasana. Hinge forward, sass the hips back, right arm down, left arm high. Straight front leg. Slowly send your right arm forward. Fierce arms for four. Skandasana three. Last two. Skandasana to the back. Good. Lower down. Find as much support as you need. Take your peace fingers. Maybe reach for your big toes. Maybe you find that strap to help you. Option to stay here, float your left arm in front of your left knee. Gaze towards your left thumb. We're here for three. Crawl to the front, open arm twist in two. Listen, open twist, right arm high. Exhale, horizon, sweep it down and back. Pivot on your foot. Reach up. Exhale, pivot and reach. Reach up, listen, drop your back knee, half splits, bow over your front leg. Now this is the tricky part, take your strap. <laughs> We're gonna try something on together. Take your strap, place it around your right foot. You may want a smaller loop for this. Remember how we started with that locust leg? Well, the beginner variation is what we're taking. So we're gonna, you can find a comfortable seat. You wanna try to get your lotus foot up. So like that hot style tree. And we're gonna hold this shape into the side plank to modify. So let me show you. The goal 
this right heel to the left hip. Left knee is down, left palm is down. Strap reaches up behind you. I have to think about this. The goal is for your right hand to reach behind you and capture your left. Your left hand needs to be down. Right foot is to your hip. Strap behind your back. Anyways, let's just forget the bind and try to lift with a shape. How about that? <laughs> I, I'm feeling like that bind is not happening for me either. So just let's try to hold your foot. Left palm is your base. Can you open up modified side plank or side plank? With that lotus leg, breathe for three. Last two. Lower down. So yes, it would be the right hand binding behind your left. But for now, let's shake it out. Down, down, kick. Right toes high, kick it out. Exhale, chaturanga or skip it. We have another strong side. Inhale, left toes high. Exhale, knee to nose, just once. Inhale, left toes high. Exhale, knee to nose, low lunge. Inhale, warrior one, rise up. You're doing great, breathe in. Exhale, sweep your arms wide. You are going for that big hug. Now pivot your toes. So you're on your tippy right toes. Breathe in, flip the top toes down. Then try to lift, hover that, those toes just an inch. Beautiful vulture, we're here for three. One-legged mountain, two. We totally rescued that princess. One-legged mountain, lift up. Big toe hold, capture your big toes. You can stay with the bent knee, left arm out for balance. Right toes maybe extend to the right forward or just hold your knee. Yes. Standing tall, chin up. Find your drishti, not moving point of focus. We're here for three. Last two. Come back through one-legged mountain. Dancer's pose. Capture the right foot, left arm high to the sky. Send your shoulder back as you bow forward. Kick and reach. Activate that kick and reach. Gaze forward, lift your chin. Gaze even higher. Kick harder for four. Airplane in three, in two. Sweep it down and back, right leg stays high. Breathe in. Exhale, left arm down, right arm high. Open up to half moon. Flex your toes. Option to sugar cane. We're here for three. Reverse warrior in two. Reverse warrior. Breathe it in. Side angle pose. Good, option for that half bind. Option for the full bind, just an option. If you can find your bind with or without your strap, can you slide your palms closer to your tush? Creating room to straight-ish your front leg. Of course, bird if you want. We're here for three. Reverse triangle in two. Let that shape go. Reverse triangle. Triangle pose. Right hips go back, reach forward, forward. Left arm down, right arm high. Enjoy the stretch. Feel your arms open. Expand that awareness. Ready to hold the light. Left arm reaches forward, right arm reaches forward. Breathe in. Exhale, low skin asana. Nice work. You can chill here and just melt forward or take your peace fingers, reach for your big toes. Find that same variation that you did on the other side, whatever it may be. We're here for three. Last two. Crawl to the front in one. Palm inside your left toes, left arm lifts. 
Breathe in. The horizon, you can drop your knee here, your back knee if you want. Reach it forward and send it back. Reaching forward, send it back. Then find your half, split, half splits. Bow over your left leg. And slowly come to a seat or a shape that you can try to shimmy your left foot into your right hip. You may want to take this from your knee. Just try it out and you can ditch it if it doesn't serve you. You can just take good old fashioned side plank. Good right hand is your base. Right knee down, left arm up. Maybe you try to find that side plank. We're here for three, yes, plus two. You are perfect just as you are, lower down. Lift your left toes, down dog kick, or tabletop kick. Shake, shake, let it go. Last chaturanga, or skip it. Slowly, slowly come down to your knees. Amazing effort. Shake out your wrist, roll out your wrist. Ooh, okay, shake it out. <laughs> A little sippy sip. Good news, the hard work is over. We're gonna check into our bodies and see if we're open to try on opening for locusts today. Had a few opportunities. Shake, shake, shake. Come to your tailbone. Extend your right leg long. And we'll try to start with the seated separate leg stretch. Now, if this doesn't serve you trying to shimmy your heel on your hip, you can take traditional seated separate leg stretching. Or try it out with me. Try to lift your left ankle on top of your right hip. And listen, you can send a block underneath your left knee for more support. See how it feels. And you can take it or leave it. And then I want you to bow over your right leg a little bit or a lot bit. If you can flip a block or even stack two blocks so you can rest your forehead down, you can even rest it on your right leg. I'd like you to do so. So the lotus shape is a lot of pressure on the tops of your feet. Super good for opening the hips. If you fold it, gently lift. Good. And then plant your left foot down. An option for one more bind. So grab your strap if you'd like it. Send that strap behind you. Have to think about it. Your right hand will go behind your right hip. Your left knee is high to the sky. Reach your left arm around your front left leg towards that strap behind you or your palms and see how this feels hold direction right knee again lift your chest extend your left leg long any variation, see the separate leg stretch or you can find that heel on top of the thigh, you choose. Use a prop if that felt good and if it doesn't, no need. Just gaze towards your left knee and bow a little bit if that's what you can do. If you can go farther, feel free. Try to square your hips, direction left leg. And soften your eyes, so can you close them?
Gently lift your chest. Plant your right foot by your side. And you can play with any variation if you like that bind again. Your right arm sweeps in front of your right leg. Reach for that strap. Left arm sweeps behind your back. Try to hug around your right leg. Left hand behind your back. Right arm in front. And then gaze towards your left knee and bow again in that direction. Slowly lift that shape. Good. And sway your knees side to side. We'll just try locust on each side. See how it feels. Start with your left heel inside your right hip. And again, if it, one leg is where you're at, then meet yourself there. Maybe you try to bend your right knee and shimmy. <laughs> it's a true shimmy. Your right heel up and over your left thigh. Like I said, it's a lot on the ankles, so if it's too much, then listen to your body. You can always take crisscross applesauce or butterfly. If you can shimmy it, stand with a tall chest. Option to find those double okay hands with your fingers to touch. Just tune in. Envision the color orange. I am creative. Breathe in. Breathe out. And slowly, slowly come out of the shape. Good, roll out your ankles. And then just see how you feel on this other side, starting with the right ankle down. I know it's definitely not the most favorite posture, but right foot to the left hip. And that already is a lot and the, every side is different. So you could stay there or maybe try to bend your left knee and maybe that's cool is where you just stay. I have to kind of hoist my hip up to, to like rock back to my tailbone to shimmy my left foot on top. And it is a lot of pressure on the ankles, so if it doesn't serve you, then skip it. I'm trying to find patience. It's almost as torturous as that toe stretch. So a double okay hands for a few breaths. Double okay. Double okay. We are double okay. Breathe in. Breathe out. Try to relax into the uncomfort. One more breath. Okay, let it go. If you can. It's a shimmy, shimmy plop. <laughs> Woo. It's a lot on the ankles, so gently roll them out. Good, send your legs long in front of you for Paschimottanasana. Let's see the forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your chest. Exhale, bow down. You can crawl your palms down towards the tops of your feet and give them a little rub. <laughs> Point your toes in the shape to stretch out the tops of the toes. And flex your toes. One more time, point the toes. And flex the toes. Stay for one more breath. Pull your belly closer to your thighs. And slowly lowering. All the way down for a supported bridge bend your knees come down to your back and send that block underneath your sacrum just above your tailbone 
knees can be up, or you can find Sukta Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together. Hands to your hips, thumbs, frame your belly button if that feels okay. As your hips open, soften your mind. If this causes you any extra pain, knock your knees together. more breaths. Slowly close your knees together. Remove that block and find a gentle squeeze for your final Shavasana. So knees come together. Thank yourself for your journey. And exhale to the final shape that feels best for you. Try to be heavy for at least eight breaths. like a variation of Shavasana. Send your arms wide like that strong bicep arm. Palms shine down. Lift your right heel and just plop it as straight as can be to the left with your chin on the, over the right shoulder. Just in starfish Shavasana. Try to be heavy. You can join me, rock your right foot to the earth and twist your left leg to the right, a straightish leg. both knees to your chest if you're ready to move on with your day. Find a happy baby pose, bend and extend your legs. Knees to chest. Notice how you feel. Slowly come up to a seat, only if you're ready.
Hi, thanks for watching Yoga with Shell. I'm Michelle, obviously, you may know that by now. That was a challenging practice. I hope you found some time to giggle and try something new on. Maybe you learned something about yourself with those lotus legs. Um, have a beautiful day and yoga on.